Upgrading a Windows operating system has never been easier. It is a quick three-step process, and just like that, you're now in Windows 11. Today we're looking at how you can upgrade your Windows 10 computer to Windows 11 completely for free. I'm gonna walk you through all of the steps, so let's jump right into it. So the first thing we wanna do is make sure that your computer is up to date with any software updates. And to do that, you can go into the search bar and type in check for updates, and it's gonna pop up. And we're gonna quickly check for updates and make sure that your computer's up to date. In this case, we are up to date. And if you're not, if you have a few updates, you might wanna install them before we proceed so that you don't run into any issues. And you might have to do this a few times because how this is designed is that not all the updates get installed at the same time. So once you update, come back into the Windows update and check for updates. Again, make sure it says you're up to date. So as you can see, this computer that I have here is up to date. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the first step of installing Windows 11. So the first thing we need to do is download an app called PC Health Check that is gonna check the compatibility of your computer with Windows 11 operating system. So before you go ahead and install Windows 11, we're gonna run the PC Health Check app. I'm gonna have the link in the description for this app. So once you go to the website, once you click on the link, you're gonna see the download link for PC Health Check app. And we're gonna go ahead and click on the link and it's gonna give you the setup file. So once you download the app, we're gonna go ahead and run it. So let's see what that looks like. So now we have the Windows PC Health Check app installed. We're gonna go ahead and click on finish and it's gonna launch the PC Health Check app. And we're gonna check the compatibility for this computer with Windows 11. So once you have the PC Health Check app open, we're gonna be brought to this page where you have the blue button that says check now. That's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna click on check now and it's gonna show you whether or not your computer is compatible. So in this case, it does say that this PC meets the Windows 11 requirements. So we're good to go on this machine. Make sure you see this message. But if you see the message that it says it's not compatible or your computer does not meet the requirements, that means you're not gonna be able to update to Windows 11 using the traditional method. There are ways to get around that and update your computer anyway, but we're gonna look at the official method of updating your computer. So assuming that your computer meets the requirements, we're gonna go ahead and proceed to the next step, which is to download Windows 11. And I'm gonna have the link to download the Windows 11 installation assistant in the description box. So just go ahead and click on that link or you can also just go to Google and search for download Windows 11 and go to the Microsoft website. So once you click on the link, you're gonna be brought to this page where it says download Windows 11. But before we do this, it's important to go ahead and back up all of your data on your computer because even though your computer's not gonna format or erase any data, it's always good to be safe and keep your data backed up just in case something goes wrong with the installation and you end up losing some of your data, you have a backup of it so you can restore all of your files back. But once you have your backup, we're gonna click on download now for the Windows 11 installation assistant and it's gonna download the exe file and we're gonna go ahead and click open. So here we are on the installation assistant for Windows 11. It's gonna show you the terms and conditions. Just go ahead and click on accept and install. And now we're gonna wait for the installation to complete. And it's gonna automatically download and update the files from Windows 10 to Windows 11. So this might take a while depending on your internet speed. So we're gonna go ahead and wait for this to complete. So as you can see, it's just a three-step process. It's super easy, especially with the installation assistant. If you wanna go the other way, if you wanna download Windows 11 ISO and use a USB drive or a CD drive to install it, it's gonna be a little bit more complicated, but they've made it a lot easier with the installation assistant. It's just like installing any updates for your computer. So once you go through the setup process, it's gonna take some time and now it's restarting your computer and you're gonna straight away boot into Windows 11. So let's take a look. Now our computer is restarting. So the setup process did take some time and uh, it completely depends on your internet speed and everything else and your computer's processing. So there you go, now we're on Windows 11. As I could tell right away by the lock screen, we have the time in the middle as opposed to how it used to be in Windows 10. So let's go ahead and log in and see what it looks like. 
So as you can see, it's not on the setup screen and it's gonna just go ahead and finish up the final steps of installing Windows 11 and we're gonna be booted straight onto the desktop and uh, we're gonna take a look at the new Windows 11 desktop here in a minute. So there we have it. We're on the desktop now for Windows 11. It is that easy. Three simple steps for the installation process and uh, it just takes some time, but they made it a lot easier in terms of how you used to be with previous operating systems. You'd have to go through a lot of different steps to set up your new operating system, but now they've made it super easy and kept it simple. And all of the files that you have on your computer are still gonna be there, but it's always a good idea to take a backup, even though this process does not format or erase your hard drive in any way. So there you have it. Now we are on the desktop for Windows 11 and the computer has now been upgraded to Windows 11. It was that easy. They've made the process super simple compared to previous operating systems where it was a little bit more complex and you'd have to worry about backing up and everything. But in this case, they've made it super easy. The steps were simple. And the biggest advantage is that you don't have to format your computer. We still have all of our data, all of our files still on the computer. So so that's how you would upgrade your Windows 10 machine to Windows 11. And that's how you would upgrade your Windows 10 computer to Windows 11. If you've got any questions, let me know down in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next one.